Most eggplant parmesan recipes are more about the tomato sauce than the eggplant itself. They're heavily breaded to where you can hardly taste the eggplant and tend to be cheesy, goopy, oily blobs. Moldova is home to what is arguably the finest eggplant in the world and they want to taste the eggplant. This recipe is unique for two reasons. First, the manner in which the eggplant are coated without any egg or bread. This is completely different from anything you've seen. Second, the sauce is made from braised vegetables that have a true synergy with the Parmesan cheese. Getting, putting in about eight cloves of garlic, uh, rather a lot of garlic, and I'm going to start it off just by grinding it in the food processor a little bit. Now, I'm going to add uh, <coughs> the flour, that's 180 grams, and you don't have to add this, but it, it helps a little bit, it's, it's a subtle difference, but I'm adding a little margarine, about a teaspoon of dried margarine to this, uh, it's optional, and then you need about two generous two teaspoons of salt, seems like a lot of salt, but, but it won't be because this, uh, most of this isn't going to actually stick to the eggplant. Now we're going to grind it some more. It's sticking at the bottom because of the, the dry flour and the uh, relatively wet garlic. So you have to scrape down the sides a little bit. You want to try to get this as, as homogenous as you can. Okay, now you can leave this to sit for an hour before you begin using it, uh, or you can use it right away if you and have just to. Just to show you the difference, the kind of eggplant we usually see here. Uh, it's not shiny and black and pretty, uh, but it has a much better flavor. It's actually ironic because it doesn't look very good like, like most natural fruit <coughs> and vegetables, but uh, the taste is actually far better. But uh, I realize you, your chances of getting one that, that's not uh, genetically bred to look pretty are thin, but uh, if you can, those are the best egg boys. Yeah, <clears throat> here's one of the eggplants. I uh, just ran a heart peeler down it. <laughs> I wish you could smell this. It is so different from the eggplant that you get in the, the United States. It's actually it's like filling the whole room with the scent of eggplant right now. It's uh, completely different. As you can see, I'm, I'm cutting these maybe a quarter of an inch thick. Something like that. And just repeat it down here. To the, to the rest of the eggplant. Now I have the, the flour that had the garlic and the, the salt mixed into it. I'm going to toss this these slices after I do them all in here. We're going to let it stand for a while. This is why also you don't want to have big chunks of garlic in it because otherwise when you cook it you'll have big chunks of garlic that will it'll burn. Um, so this is, this is a little bit of an art as to how long you leave the eggplant uh, in the flour but you, you have to leave it there for a while because the salt that's in the flour is going to work on the eggplant and it's going to draw out some of the moisture and it's going to hydrate the flour. It's part of the process. So uh, we'll give it a little while and come back and check. Now about every five to ten minutes you want to toss these pieces around in the flour. And you can, I don't know if you can see on the video or not but, but uh, this is changing. They're starting to become sticky. They're tacky to the touch. That's the stage that you're looking for. You don't want to let them go way past this point because then what will happen is you get this super heavy uh, coating of flour on them and uh, it, not only will it taste gummy when you're done but it will give you terrible indigestion because you'll have raw flour in, in the uh, inside there. So this is about the right amount of, of time but it will vary with from eggplant to eggplant and uh, probably some other things like how humid the environment you're sitting in right now when you do this is. So they're, they're just slightly tacky. This is the point we're going to start heating up the oil and cooking them. And I'm also um, I'm going to leave them in the flour, but I'm not going to be tossing them around and trying to get any more flour on them now. I'm just going to kind of push them off to the side here a bit and uh, get them out of the flour so they don't, they don't start getting gummy. Okay, I'm using a good, very heavy uh, non-stick pan for this. Um, this is an extremely good pan. Uh, it's important because you don't want this, these to stick at all. I'm also adding olive oil to this. pan's already hot and I'm going to start cooking these just um, a few at a time. Now one of the other um, <laughs> things to consider here, this is, this is one of those peasant dishes uh, which is, is often the case, is very labor intensive. It's going to take a while 
to slowly cook this eggplant. You can't don't set fire to it with a super high flame, super high heat. Uh, it's co being cooked over medium to medium high heat on a scale of one to ten. It's a seven. If you try doing it too fast, the eggplant won't be creamy and soft in the middle. It'll just be burnt on the outside. So it's going to take time. It's going to take uh, maybe for each batch of eggplant maybe eight or nine minutes in order to get it cooked completely. Um, and, and nice and golden and when you multiply that by the number of pieces of eggplant we have to do you can see this is going to take a while to go through all this eggplant and cook it that's just the way that it is it's not a not a good restaurant dish because it's too labor intensive it's been about three minutes now and uh, I'm going to add some more olive oil in the middle here and I'm going to flip these pieces around you want to keep them moist with olive oil so that they brown nicely Also helps to turn the pan around some too. As you can see, some of the pieces are, are more cooked than than others, which is inevitable with any stove. So just keep them going. It's this is not done on this side. They're going to need to be turned again. Okay, it's been three minutes on this side. Now I'm going to flip them back over, and they're going to get about one one and a half minutes on the original side again. I'm not adding any more oil to the pan this time. They're already they're already moist on there. They don't need any more oil this time. About one and a half minutes. Okay, it's been about a minute. I've also turned the heat down from seven to six because I see that they're they're cooking just a little bit too fast. You want to aim so that they take about nine minutes total cooking time per batch, and uh, these are taking maybe eight minutes. So they're they're a little bit a little bit too fast. So I turned the temperature on the stove down to six, and it's just going to take just like one more minute. Then we're going to transfer these to uh, to a plate. Okay, it's been another minute. I'm just going to flip this over to show you. They're they're nice and golden crisp on both sides. These are going to go to a plate to reserve. Then I take a kitchen towel, and this has got a bunch of uh, partially burnt flour in there, <laughs> and it'll be really burnt if you don't wipe this out in between each each batch. So it's got to be wiped clean. Of course, it's still hot. More olive oil and then we begin the next batch, the exact same process, you just repeat it about three minutes on the first side, three minutes on the second side, about a minute to a minute and a half on the first side again, and a minute to a minute and a half uh, to finish it up on the other side. Okay, and the process gets repeated. Yeah, I've got the uh, the last slices of eggplant going here now, it's been about uh, 35 minutes in all. And they, you find that you've got more flour with the garlic and the, the herbs and the salt in it than uh, than you needed. This works really well for making uh, coating for fried chicken. You can you can use that, or you can do another whole batch of eggplant, another eggplant in the in the same batch. Don't do more than one more. And then uh, other than that, you can, you can throw it, of course, because it's only flour and garlic and salt. It's not especially expensive. And this is what we want to end up with. <coughs> we have <coughs> cut 18 slices in all from the one eggplant which is enough to make uh, six of the final um, product as you'll see in a few minutes. This can be left for uh, you know 30 or 40 minutes easily. The, it, the eggplant's really crisp when it first comes off but it, it'll soften up slightly as it sits there but it doesn't make any difference because it's going to go in the oven with sauce anyway. It's going to soften up. Yeah, this is the sauce that I actually, I actually made the sauce, the Moldavian braised vegetable sauce yesterday. So the first step is to put a little bit down in the dish that this is going to be cooked in. This keeps the eggplant from sticking and obviously it's going to, bottom eggplant is going to absorb a little bit of the sauce. Okay. Now we begin stacking them. If you wanted to do this for a larger course, you could put, you could stack them higher than, um, than I am. I'm, I'm only putting, I'm only going to use three layers here. In, in a restaurant we use about eight if, if we have to make this dish, but I usually don't because it's too labor intensive. Now this is genuine Parmigiano Reggiano um, cheese. Don't use an imitation for this. This is an important aspect of this dish. It, it's what it's based on. So don't cheap out and use imitation parmesan. It will not work. Not that crap in the in the uh, box that's dehydrated. Okay, and I'm just putting like a teaspoon of the, the same braised eggplant sauce on there. And I'm going to repeat this um, three times here. Okay, more cheese. 
it was just about like a teaspoon of cheese between each layer. Doesn't have to be exact, of course. Get a little average out. And another teaspoon of sauce. The oven, in the meantime, is uh, preheating. And the final layer of eggplant on top here. More parmesan. We're going to put a lot more sauce on the last layer, though. It's just about what we needed for the point. Now, really spoon on the sauce. This recipe is <laughs> it's about the, the eggplant, but this it's also all about the sauce. Don't forget the sauce is made from all these deliciously braised vegetables we took so much care on. So it's not just like a little decoration. Um, not a background note nearly as much as it would be on a, an Italian eggplant parmesan. So this is this is looking pretty good. Now they add the, the fine. This is the quality wet packed uh, mozzarella. It's actually imported from Italy, um, but you may or may not be able to find quality Italian mozzarella if you live outside of Europe. Uh, it's usually you get something that's made in the country that you're from. Uh, we live close enough to Italy right now that we we can get the Italian one. Okay, there we go. This is enough, and uh, this is going to go into the oven and begin baking. Also look for my cocktail book, Cocktails of the South Pacific and Beyond, Advanced Mixology, available through Amazon online.